Hey everyone, I hope you're keeping really well. Have you just got a gimbal and don't know what cinematic moves to do to get great video? Or have you used your gimbal and recorded lots of footage, but when you've watched it back, it just wasn't that cinematic, the moves were all over the place, or it didn't do your location justice? Well, in this video, we are going to look at 10 cinematic smartphone gimbal moves for beginners that are super easy to do using any gimbal such as the DJI OM6, DJI OM5, etc. And work in any location to guarantee you get great clips. And at the end, we'll also put them together into a short video to see what's possible. We will take a look at how to do each move step by step, along with some tips along the way to help you get the best results. So let's not waste any time and jump right in. Before we get into the first drone move, we want to make sure our phone is recording in the highest quality possible. If you're using an iPhone like me, go to settings, camera, record video, and make sure 4K is selected. And also make sure HDR video is turned on for higher dynamic range. If you are using the DJI Mimo app, then just tap this icon at the top of the screen and select 3840 by 2160. If you are using any other type of phone, just make sure your camera is recording at the highest resolution possible, such as 4K, and you will be good to go. Let's start with a great gimbal move for introducing your location to a viewer, or for an opener to your sequences, such as a travel film. It's also super simple to do. Start with your phone up high above your point of interest, and if your gimbal has an extension pole, then make use of this. Or you could even screw in the tripod legs, but keep them closed and use this to get your gimbal extra high. Then hit record and slowly and smoothly lower the gimbal down and try to keep your point of interest in the center as you do this. Having a foreground element also helps add depth to your scene and you can also reverse this clip in your video editor to get two clips for the price of one. Now let's add more motion by pushing forward towards our point of interest. Find an area around your subject that has enough room for you to walk forward at least a few meters. Then point your phone towards your point of interest, hit record and walk forward at a smooth, consistent pace. This gimbal move looks great and is super beginner friendly, but here's a tip to make it look even smoother and more cinematic. Bend your knees and walk heel to toe as you push forward to reduce shakes from walking normally. Just take a look at the difference in this comparison. On the left is walking forward normally, and on the right is walking with our knees bent and heel to toe. Another tip is to practice this move a few times before recording, just to make sure there's no obstacles in your way that you might not see if you're concentrating on what your phone is recording. Okay, let's now get more creative with the foreground twist. Another great way to cinematically reveal your point of interest. For this move, you want to find a foreground subject you can start behind, such as a hill, tree or even a corner works really well. Hit record and move the gimbal to the side left or right past the foreground element to reveal your point of interest. At the same time as you move to the side twist the gimbal slowly in the opposite direction. For the best results stay close to the foreground subject to get a really dynamic shot. Now let's flip the gimbal upside down and again extend the extension pole if you have one. The idea with this move is that we want it as close to the ground as safely possible. Then, while recording, move the phone slowly forward to get this unique perspective. Two tips. Firstly, it makes sense to practice this move a few times, keeping an eye on the phone and the gimbal to make sure you don't accidentally hit any obstacles, such as these rocks. And secondly, be careful not to slip as you do this move or any other move in this video. It's super easy to do if you're busy paying attention to your phone screen sometimes and not where you're walking. Let's get creative now by passing our phone and gimbal through an object. Find a gap in front of your point of interest and make sure your phone and gimbal can fit through it. That being said, usually the more narrow the gap, the better the final shots look. Then make sure your phone is pointed at your subject, hit record and pass it through the gap using your arms and body as movement for the smoothest move possible. If you find that you keep hitting the edges of the gap as you pass through it, you might find it easier to start with your phone through the gap and then pull it back out. This can also be used as another variation of this move or just reverse it in your favorite video editor to achieve the same result. Another classic move you can do with any gimbal is the jib upwards. Start with your smartphone down low to the ground and your subject out of the frame. Then while recording, start to slowly and smoothly raise it upwards to bring your point of interest into focus. 
It's as simple as that, but this move always looks great, so why not give it a try? This move always looks cinematic. And again, like a lot of these moves, makes use of a foreground element to add movement and depth to your scene. In this case, we used a stone wall, but you could use a fence, hill, trees, another building. The options really are endless. Then move your smartphone left or right horizontally along it while keeping your subject centered in the background. This creates depth, and there's another perspective you can use to keep your sequences varied and interesting. Next up is a move that looks like it could have been captured with a drone, but it was actually captured with a smartphone gimbal. First, find a ledge for this one. Don't attempt this move near a high cliff. Remember to stay safe at all times. Walk towards the edge, pushing forward. Remember heel to toe with your legs bent for the smoothest video. And then when you get close to the edge, extend your gimbal out over it. This mimics a drone flying over the edge to reveal your point of interest. If you're looking for a simple move that delivers awesome results, then this is the one. Simply put your subject in the frame and walk backwards slowly. Remember to either look over your shoulder or know that the path behind yourself is clear to make sure you don't trip. This move works best if you roll back while passing through a subject such as this castle ruin and always looks fantastic. This move looks tricky to do because you have to move the gimbal while keeping it steady, while walking, but trust me, once you master it, the results will blow you away. Start with your gimbal pointed towards the ground, walk forward slowly, and at the same time, rotate the gimbal upwards towards the subject. Time this right and you get this incredible punch in effect on your subject for an epic clip. Now each of them clips will create an epic little clip that you can use on social media for example. But let's now put them all together into a short video to see what's possible using a smartphone and a gimbal. So there you have it, 10 cinematic smartphone gimbal moves for beginners, and I really hope these help you get more professional and awesome results when you're out using a combo such as this. Now if you've liked this video and you've learned something new, please let me know by giving me a thumbs up and clicking that like button down below. And if you love all things smartphones and gimbals, I recommend you check out my channel where I have a ton of other content to help you level up your video game when using a combination such as this. Make sure to subscribe and make sure that notification bell is on so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. If you want to stick around and see a few more of them now, here's a few I personally recommend. I'll not keep you back any further. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you over there.